And welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, the Coca's Pizza. A little different backdrop. We're trying to change up the juju. I'm the superstitious one, uh, flipping it around here at Coca's Pizza. Thanks again to Steve Coke and everybody here making this such a great experience for us each and every week. Yes. Uh, episode four, week four of the Canfield Cardinals show. Mike Pavlansky joins us. Uh, Coach, we got to start where we got to start. It was a tough week. Absolutely. But, but you knew going into it, it yeah. was going to be hey, a really good competition. We knew going into it, Olmstead Falls was the best team we had played so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to play, you know, a near perfect game to have a chance to win. And we were certainly far from that. And, you know, a lot of it's us. And, and some of that's Olmstead Falls and how good they are. We talk about it each and every week. This is not a time to hit mm -hmm. the panic button. No. The schedule is a gruesome mm -hmm. schedule, one that you put together, you're mm -hmm. proud of. By the end, when you get out of this, week 10, looking at week 11, you feel you're going to be a better team from what you faced. Uh, hopefully, you know, but our, our focus is not that far down sure. the road. You know, we've got to focus on Poland on Friday night because we've got another great team that uh, we're going to go up against. And, you know, in this one, you throw the records out and rivalries, everything. And it's one of the special rivalries in Northeast Ohio and all of the state. And uh, I think this might be the 80th time that we've played. Oh, wow. You know, um, so, uh, you know, our guys are working hard this week in practice in the film room. And, you know, hopefully we get uh, prepared and go over there and give a good account of ourselves. We always got to talk about the tape. I mean, how yeah. did the things grade out for you? on friday you know not 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 very good obviously yeah. uh we played uh, they're really good uh big fast physical senior dominated team they played one junior on offense one junior on defense the rest of the team and including their special teams were all seniors and um you know we you know we we did good things we're a better team dj coming off the field friday night than we were when we took the field against mansfield so we did improve but the, the glaring airs kickoff return for a touchdown interception for a touchdown two long passes those can't happen in any game let alone a team that's really good like uh, Olmstead Falls was if you want a chance to win. So I guess one of the things, most people on a Friday night watching these mm -hmm. games, they're going to look at this and they're going to say, well, that was the better team. But there were things that you could have done mm -hmm. that that were, was it just preparation? Yeah. Was it execution? What no, was just it? execution. Okay. Certainly from coaches execution we could have put our kids in better situations, you know, and players execution of uh, reading keys and taking care of their responsibilities. Right. Um, you know, that's why the game gets out of hand, you know, so quickly. Right. Um, they drove the field the first time they had the ball. They drove the field the first time in the second half. 14 points well deserved. They were better than us. But those four big plays make the score what it was. When you think about games like this, there's always something you could take away that helps grow mm -hmm. the team. You said from, from week two to week three, you saw growth. What, mm -hmm. Week three to week four, yeah. what are you seeing in practice that you, you really like? Well, I, again, it's rivalry week. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's uh, an intense week of practice. Guys are given, especially in this heat, are given a tremendous oh, yeah. effort. And, um, you know, hopefully all that stuff pays off and it's going to be a you know competitive ball game Friday night. Rivalry week, Poland, Canfield, the Battle of 224. The Pavlansky Bowl, everybody talks about it. You kind of shook your head when we started this. Yeah. Uh, you say it's not about you and your brothers. No. It's not about your family. It's about no. this rivalry, this, yeah. this, this community. The, the rivalry uh, between the two schools and the communities is much bigger than any one family that's ever coached or played or lived in either community. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate the people of Poland have uh, have been so, so nice to our family, yeah. especially my mom now. And, um, you know, naming the field after our dad. And, uh, you know, that was just a great gesture. Uh, but when we go over there, you know, the name on the field, we tell our guys have never scored a touchdown. He's never made a tackle. Same for the coaches. When our coach, and I can honestly say this in the last two years, when we've coached against Poland, okay, I'm not coaching against Tom. I'm coaching against his team and the schemes they're putting together, and it's a chess match during the game, trying to get our kids in a, the best situation possible. And he'll tell you the same thing. He's not looking across the field to see what I'm doing. All right. He's looking at the defense. He's looking at the offense, the special teams, you know, to make some adjustments to put his team in the best situation. So when you were looking at Poland, I mean, they're perfect on the season. Mm -hmm. They they have they're probably their best team. Mm -hmm. uh, Since your brother took yes. over. When, when you look at that team, mm -hmm. what do you see? What stands out to you? Senior dominated. Mm -hmm. A physical team. This is the biggest, most physical team he's had in three years and uh, a team that believes uh, in each other. Uh, you can tell just by the tape, they they really enjoy playing with each other. Uh, they're a fast physical team. They're well coached uh, in all three facets. And, uh, you know, we need to be at top of our game if we want a chance to win. When you think about the rivalry, what are some of your favorite memories uh, that, that you take back? You know, the, the memories, obviously, when you know, my dad was coaching at Poland, um, you know, just being on the field and, and watching the games and, you know, the 1977 snowball. I mean, we used to go to breakfast on a Saturday morning because we played Saturday afternoon. You went in. It was sunny. It was in the 40s. You came out. There must have been four feet of snow. It was unbelievable. <laughs> so so before the game, okay, my brothers and I, our job was 
the, with the um, officials, go every five yards and roll snowballs to the other sideline. <laughs> so you knew where the five yard lines were at. Okay. Okay. That was a tremendous, you know, um, uh, memory that I've got. And then obviously playing in it. Um, you know, when you play in that game, it is without a doubt the toughest game you play in all year long. And, uh, and that, that could go for a league title game. It can go for, you know, an Olmstead Falls game. Uh, this is going to be the toughest game our kids have faced to date. Do you tell your freshman, incoming freshman, mm-hmm. about what this game means? Do you prepare your guys? Do you, yeah. t- do you have to amp them up for this game? Or this no, is just no. Kind of if we got to amp you up for this game, you shouldn't be wearing a C on your chest. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but we certainly talk to our 7th and 8th graders. We let those coaches know. Make sure our guys understand. You know, they're playing right now. This starts rivalry week. Let's make sure we're giving our best effort. And our freshmen go tomorrow night, and they'll certainly be heard that message all week long. And we'll be able to talk to them for a few moments before they take the field tomorrow night at 530. And, you know, obviously our guys, we don't hear it just in a rivalry week yeah. and we work this game like Tom does every day of the year. I always think it's interesting. Now, now obviously, you know, we know that there's two teams playing, but the competitiveness of you, just your family as a whole, mm-hmm. it, I always ask the guys this, what, what was it like growing up in the Pavlansky household with the competitiveness of you and your brothers? Uh, it, it was competitive. Yeah. You know, um, you know, people, brothers, some brothers, they, 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 uh, settle um arguments with fist fights right we didn't we went to the basketball court really oh yeah whoever whoever made the most shots whoever won 21 those free throws you were the winner of the argument really okay so who usually won 21 pat really yeah okay tom wasn't given any opportunity he was too young <laughs> <laughs> so so what what was your game that you you felt uh, comfortable I, winning I, I i i comfortable winning none of them really yeah no i just enjoyed it i enjoyed athletics I love it I love it. What was what's maybe what's something that that maybe you've learned from Tom along the way? From Tom, preparation, really, and staying even keeled. Um, you know, he's as even keeled as anybody around. He gets more out of his team and athletes from the Lakeview days to now pulling than anybody I know. And uh, there's he's had some special special wins at Lakeview and at Poland so far. Um, you know, and some near misses last year. They took Jefferson, who went to the state semifinal. Got beat 14-13 in the first round of the playoffs with all their injuries last year. I mean, they lost a bunch of guys to injuries. He was playing most of the year without his top two quarterbacks and and just didn't say anything, just kept going, preparing, and kept fighting. And, uh, you know, that's what I admire so much about Tom as as a coach, as a person. He's better. Who taught you guys your tenacity? Because you guys are like, no no pun intended, yeah. you're like bulldogs, but right. as, as Tenacious says, the both um, of you are. Well, I, I appreciate that. I mean, obviously our mom and dad, um, you know, dad was a coach and an athlete competitive. Mm-hmm. My mom was a, you know, um, you know, back in the whenever the days it was, she enjoyed athletics and, you know, ran a little bit and track and things like that. But, uh, you know, we they said anything we did, just do it to the best of your ability. We never got yelled at or admonished. OK, for playing to the best of our ability. Um, if we didn't forget about the score, score didn't matter to yeah. them. It's did you represent your family? Did you represent your school and your team the best way possible? If you didn't, you would hear about your lack of effort. Traditions mm-hmm. for this. I mean, we talk about this rivalry. You said 80 years uh, in mm-hmm. the making for, for what we're going to see on Friday night. What are some of your favorite traditions about this week? Well, you know, here in here in Canfield, you know, since I've become the head coach 23 years ago, uh, Bill Kay, longtime educator in Canfield since about 1964, I think, principal. He was a coach, educator, principal, and then retired, became mayor of Canfield. He comes in every Thursday night before the game, before practice, and talks to our guys about the history of this particular game and he'll be here again um you know this thursday and you know really looking forward to hearing from him and his message to the guys about how special this rivalry is and you know some of the some of the great wins canfield has had you know uh when when you say throughout the records again dj mean this wholeheartedly records don't matter yeah um you know, Poland's beaten Canfield when Canfield's been really, really good and Poland hasn't. And Canfield's beaten Poland when Poland's been really, really good and Canfield was struggling a little bit. And somehow in the game, they find a way to win the game. Those rivalry games, you talk about throwing out the records, but I mean, we, we talked, you don't have to get hyped up. If, if you have to get hyped up, you don't yeah. need to see on your chest. Right. How do you maintain just the the, the calmness? Keep them mm-hmm. focused and disciplined That's, that week because yeah. it's it could it has to be a challenge in today's day and age. It, it is, you know, social media, things like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully our guys are, you know, um, you know, watching the P's and Q's on social media and they're not going to uh, put any bulletin board material out there that's going to give them a little bit more reason to play a little bit harder against us. Um, you know, 
the game itself, the team that can settle into the game faster, okay, has a great chance of winning. Because if you can't settle into the game and you're always emotional, um, mistakes are going to happen. You know, so there's going to be high emotion in that first kickoff, the first drive. The team that can settle in faster has a great chance Friday night. And you heard Brooks' speeches prepared for Friday? Nah, you don't need any speeches for this one. Love it. Seven o'clock will come quick enough. <laughs> All right. I got two questions for you off, the, off the topic here. Uh, first one, this actually was sent to me by another coach. I'll tell you after. What TV show would you want to be in if you were able to be in any TV show, make a cameo oh my appearance? Oh, gosh. I, I don't watch much TV. <laughs> Okay. I don't watch much TV. Um, if a TV show, ESPN Game Day. Oh, okay. Would you want to be the picker, the guest picker? Absolutely, be a guest picker. See, I heard you're a big college football guy. Absolutely. He, Ohio, Ohio yeah. State. Well, yeah, I'm an Ohio State fan, okay. but will you know any college game that's on? Yeah. You know, I'm going to watch if, if there's a college game on Ohio State's not playing. I'm going to watch that college so game. So last Saturday was probably a ball. Oh, it was great. It was one of the best days of the year so far. College football is back. And you're going to get college football Thursday, Saturday now, and it's going to be fun. What is it about college football that attracts you? I just like the, the pageantry of it. Yeah. You know, um, you know, you can't no longer say it's it's amateurs playing. Right. You know, um, I love that in the back in the day. Yeah. Um, but the student body, you know, the traditions of the band, um, you know, Game day traditions, whether it be Youngstown State, the walk to the stadium through the mm -hmm. parking tailgate, um, Ohio State, the skull session, you know, things like that. I just really, really enjoy. Do you, I mean, you've obviously gone to many, many, many college football games. Mm -hmm. Do you have one particular, you know, game or, or tradition that you really love to, to go to? Well, you know, that, that one at um, Ohio State, the skull, the skull session. Sessions? Yeah. yeah. You know, to go in there and sit um, and hear the uh, marching band march into St. John's and have them play some songs. And then the team come in and, you know, Ryan Day will talk. And then one of the players will talk and their assistant coach will talk. And then they walk out and go get ready for the game. And usually, you know, whoever I'm with, my daughters and I, we excuse ourselves at that time too and go into the stadium so we can watch pregame. You excited for, for YSU? Ohio oh, absolutely. State? Absolutely. You know, just uh, what a great opportunity for YSU. You know, they'll go down there and play as hard as possible and, and shock the world. You know, obviously Ohio State, they're looking to get a little bit better than last week. They got to clean some things up. But, uh, you know, to have those two schools play against each other, I think it's great for the state. Were you looking for any particular numbers last week when Ohio State was playing Indiana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, saw him on TV. That's he looks awesome. great. He that, looks great. That's phenomenal. Uh, last question for you. All right, Th this one I think is easy. You can't you can't duck away from this one. Okay. What is your favorite song of all time? Favorite song of all time. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! I don't listen to music. What? No, <laughs> no. You, there's no way. I, I don't believe that for a second. You don't listen I, to music? Well, I mean, you're in a car, you listen to some yeah. music, things like that. I, I don't know. There's nothing that just gets you your no, head bobbing? No, i just I'm too old for that. You got a polka? <laughs> no, we do not have polka, Coach. <laughs> polka days are great. You got it. Coach, thank you <laughs> Thanks, so much. DJ. Good Appreciate luck to it. you. We'll All be right. back right after this.